welcome back to my channel. So this video is a super fun video because I've not done a video like this and it is kind of like a first impressions type video. I don't have a full face of first impressions because that would be expensive but I definitely have some new makeup that I've been like as I've been picking it up I've been like forcing myself not to use it because it's been a long time since I've had this much new makeup at one time. But anyways, if you want to see some of the new makeup that I got, then just keep on watching. So I went ahead and filled in my brows because I don't have another um, new brow product. But I'm going to start out with my face. And to prime my face, I'm going to start with the Maybelline Master Prime Face Studio. This is the Blur and Smooth one. So it comes out a different like um, texture, like formula than I thought. It almost looks like a moisturizer. I thought it'd be more like silicone-y. It makes your face like like really soft. Like it doesn't feel like greasy or silicone-y, but my skin feels really, really soft. So I really like that. For foundation today, I am so excited to be trying this out. This is the new CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. This does have SPF 20 and it says it's a foundation with vitamins. So I am super excited. I've heard a lot of great things about this and I finally found it. I only can find it at one store. It's at a Target near me and I'm like once I saw it I was like ah because I've been looking everywhere since this came out and I got mine in the shade of buff beige. It looks like it might match. It might be a little bit dark but I'm like super pale right now so. Uh, the coverage is definitely, the first layer I would say is pretty sheer. I'm definitely going to build it up on my cheeks a little bit. So, my first impressions of this, just by putting it on, is that it's pretty. I like it. Um, I definitely think that, like, I have foundations that look better, like, initially when I first apply it. But it's definitely a really pretty foundation. It just, I can still kind of... It kind of emphasizes my tech like you can even see it on camera my texture right in here but I'm also trying out a new foundation with a new primer so it's kind of like just I'm gonna have to play around with both things but I definitely think it has a really pretty finish it has like a really healthy luminous finish to it like a health duh, it's called the healthy elixir foundation it's got a healthy finish to it but yeah the shades a little off too so I should have gone with classic ivory but Oh well. So, so far my first impressions of this is it's it's good. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely it's good. Give me my bag here. Moving on to concealer. This is something that I am so excited about also. And like you guys are probably going to be like, you guys, like you have not tried that yet? But I haven't because it's, it's expensive. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I got mine in the shade Light Neutral. So hopefully this works for me. I'm sure you guys have heard all the amazing reviews about this. This is actually like the color that my foundation should be. I am like horrible at color matching myself. This shade may be a little too dark, but like it's, I, I, the wand is so big. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like so big and there's like so much product. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to buff that in. Because I've heard a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. Okay, so my first impression of the Tarte Shape Tape is that I think it's awesome. It's really full coverage. I think it blended out really seamlessly. Like, my under eyes look really good. I feel like the shade is, like, a little yellow for me, I don't know, it's coming off more yellow than it on camera than it is in person. Alright, so the next thing in the bag, I actually got a few setting powders because my mom actually got me this. I've not ever tried this. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Banana Powder here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I, I should have known that wasn't going to work. So these are the three finishing powders that I got. I did get this one because I wanted to do, and I still want to do like a photo friendly makeup tutorial. So I got this one for that. This, I think I'm going to use these two today. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with these two today since um, my under eyes are already like pretty yellow from the concealer. So I definitely do want to try this, but I'm going to skip this one today just because I feel like it'll make it too, too yellow. All right. 
Well, we're gonna start with this. Just set under my eyes and my eyelid. Okay. I really like that. If you guys can even see, it kind of brightened it up a little bit too. So for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Powder. And I would test this. Oh. And I would test this out and see if it has flashback to it, but um, my foundation has SPF in it, so it wouldn't work anyways. But I will definitely test this out and let you guys know if it has flashback or not. Because HD stuff isn't supposed to have flashback. <gasps> okay, that one was definitely not like the Cody Airspun. What the heck? Got it all over my black sweatshirt. <laughs> okay, so this Cody Airspun smelled like uh, <laughs> baby powder. This one looks like baby powder. Like what? Look. So I'm just gonna... And uh... It like left like a a white cast on my face, so it already looks like it has flashback. Uh, I can already tell you guys right now, I don't like the way it made my skin look. This is definitely going back for me because this is horrible. And it's, it's a messy and I really, really, really don't like that. Okay, so before we finish the rest of our face, I'm going to go ahead and move to eyes because this is probably the part that I'm most excited about. Because... I got the, I just got this today too, I'm just so excited. I got the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition, her new palette that came out recently. That looks so pretty. Wow. So this is obviously what the palette looks like. It's beautiful, the packaging is beautiful. I'm gonna take this top shade right here with my Sigma E40 and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. I'm gonna take my, it's kinda like stained but there's like no like eyeshadow on there. I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 and I am gonna take this um, shade right here. It's a little bit warmer. I'm just going to apply this into my lower crease area. have a little bit of fun with it even if it turns out bad we're just still testing the palette out so I'm gonna take this like really pretty purpley mauvey shade and I am going to take that with this big old Bella Puri cosmetics brush doesn't have a number on it but I'm gonna take this and pack this shade on the outer part of my eye why not Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pack this on my entire lid. So, next, what should we do? I'm going to take this shade up here. And let's apply that to the center of the lid and see how that works. I'm gonna first apply it without any Fix Plus, or I mean, I don't even have to Fix Plus. <laughs> I meant I'm gonna go ahead and apply it without any setting spray and just see how it works. It's, it's alright, it's not the best without a wet brush, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush. Ooh, the purple and this shade look really, really pretty together. So I'm going to put this all in the center of my lid here, just like that. And then we'll go in with the purple and blend out the edges. So it's a really nice gradient effect. Ooh, say hi. 
No, 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 no. Say, say hi, everyone. Wave. Look over here. Wave. All right, get out. <laughs> I wish you guys could see this in person because it looks really pretty, but on camera, it doesn't look that great. I'm going to take this deep purple shade right here and just put this on the very... Ooh, I did not see that. Can you guys see all that fallout I have? Oh, dang it, I hate when that happens. Like, you can see the shadow of it. I'm going to take this deep purple and just wiggle it on the inner and outer part of my eye. Well, I'm only going to put this on the outer part of my eye because I'm getting so much fallout for it or from it that I'm not even going to put this on the inner part of my eye. I'm just going to be done with my eyeshadow. For mascara, I'm going to use a newer one. I have used this before, but I couldn't remember if I really liked it or I couldn't really tell. It is this new, um, it's the new CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara, and it's like the one, I don't know if I use this in a video or not, with like a really weird wand like that, which is like super weird, but we shall see. I'm going to take the little edge and just comb through my lashes. It's definitely one of the better like drugstore mascaras, I think, in my opinion, if you guys can obviously tell the difference. So, I do have a new pair of lashes. So, I've been on the hunt for, like, um, spiky lashes. Like, not too spiky, but that are a little spikier. So, I got these Eyler number 126 lashes. Yeah, I know. They look, like, huge. All right, lashes are on. So these are what they look like. They are definitely, they are out there, but I think that they are really, really pretty, actually. Normally, I would be like, ah, but something about them, I really like. They're very, like, sultry. So while we're here, let's just go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to keep it super, super simple. I am first just going to take, um this shade right here and run this along my lower lash line so also i'll give you guys my like first impressions of the carly bible palette i think that it's really beautiful it does have fallout and it does have like kick up like the shadows are super like soft but it does blend out amazing so and i really don't mind if it's got like kick up or anything but it, if you do mind it does have that all right, and then before I do anything else, I am going to use my green eyeliner. This probably won't even go with the look, but I still am, like, determined to use it. This is the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen, and they have a ton of, like, really pretty colors. I was going to get black or purple, but I decided to step out of my comfort zone, and I got the one in Sage Gold. So it's a really pretty... <laughs> I don't know where to put it. It's a really pretty Sage Gold. It does have glitter in it, and I knew that when I bought it, but I didn't really think it would show this much. It's got, like, gold reflex in it. But the more I look at it, the more I actually like that. I think it adds, like, a little bit of sparkle to my eye. I don't know. I really, really like this. And it's, like, really pigmented on my waterline. So the last thing I'm going to do is just take that dark purple with, like, a little, a little brush. And I'm just going to run this along probably that, just the outer part of my eye. You guys, if this green eyeliner stays on my waterline all day, I might have to go buy all the colors of those pixie eyeliners. They have like navy blue, purple, black, pink, like a champagne color. They have a really pretty colors and I really, really like it. So for the face, I'm going to go ahead and start bronzing my face. Now I don't have a new bronzer, but I got a new bronzing brush. And this is the infamous Japanese brush, the contour and highlight brush that looks like this. They have the NARS, NARS has one that looks exactly like that. And that's always like a controversy, whether it's like this brush or the NARS brush, which it's like really like small in person. Like I thought it would be, I don't know, like the handle and everything is like, I don't know, kind of tiny. But I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face with this. And if you can still see... The NYX powder is still like on my face. 
on lunch is definitely a no-go. I'm going to use my um, Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And I love how they put a mirror in here. Like, you could actually see in that little tiny mirror. So, this, I don't like it. <laughs> I had, I had such high expectations for this brush. Maybe the NARS one is the one that everyone likes. This just feels just like cheap. Like, I feel like it's like. My bad. Love you. Love you. And it's applying it patchy, and I know it's the brush because I've always used Hula. This brush, okay, you guys, was 20, I think it was $24 for this brush. This should not feel cheap whatsoever. That's expensive for a brush. And I feel like it looks patchy. It's like the way the brush feels, it's like feels like plastic hair. But it's shedding already. The first time I use it, I got my birthday gift from Sephora and I got to pick it out and I got this little tart um, little kit here. I thought that this would be perfect to use in this video because it has a lip color and a blush and I actually don't have a new blush or lip color to show you guys. So this is the blush and this is in the shade Party. I was going to say Partay, but no, it's not Partay, it's Party. And it's their Amazonian Clay 24 hour blush. This is the name of it and then the shade. It looks like a really pretty kind of a peachy quirly color. So I'm going to apply this with my Real Techniques blush brush and it's a little mini size of course but it's still a good amount especially for a blush. So I've never used Tarte blushes before but I've heard they're really really good. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. For a highlighter, you guys already know, I'm going to dip back into my Curly Bible Deluxe Edition and all of these down here are highlighters. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, six highlighters. Now, some of them are pink. This one is like white. I want to try, I don't know. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, I'm going to mix these two here. They're a little chalky, I feel like, but they're still really, really pretty. All right, and then what do we have left to do? We have lips, and I think that might be it. So, last but not least, uh, this a little itty bitty baby tart lip color. This is in the shade Birthday Sue. How cute for my little birthday gift. I've not tried Tarte's lip paints before. I think this wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know um, if you have any of the products that I tried out and what you think of them. If you liked what I didn't like or if you didn't like what I liked. Just kind of, you know, everything like that so we can talk in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.